Fast and the Furious 10 just released and well, this is a Fast and the Furious movie and the movie does everything a Fast and the Furious movie does but does it up to 10, not 11, saving that joke for the next movie. There is a scene where Vin Diesel lifts a car with his hands and cars in this movie is someone falling from a great height onto a car, they are saved, nothing happened. So cars are like safety pads or cushions or something and Jason Momoa, I thought he would be like Aquaman but he is more like Joker but once again dialed up to 11. So all in all I'd say this is an okay watchable movie. The first and the Furious franchise was all about street racing and this was supposed to be like a homage to the racing type things but that soon changed with the tendency of outdoing what they did in the previous movie and that took them to space that made them fight a submarine with cars and that leads to Fast and the Furious X where Vin Diesel lifts a car with his one hand. Well not like lifts it up like Hulk or something but he could he could pull a car up. Really? Was that necessary? That is not like the most outlandish stuff cause there are some ridiculous stuff happening. But all in all I can say this movie will definitely make money and will get probably Fast 69 Mission on Mars or something. And I guess I'll watch that too. And the weirdest part is no one actually dies so character deaths doesn't have any impact. Fast 9 we saw Han return who was killed by Jason Statham previously. In this movie we get Gal Gadot return who sacrificed herself to save Han. She's also back. And when the Rock Johnson, he wasn't dead but he had feud with Vin Diesel but he is also back cause you know money talks. So if they could they would probably have made a deal with the devil and brought Paul Walker back if real world work like Fast and the Furious universe. Well I'm out of words to describe this movie anymore so that's all for today's video. Like, share, subscribe and do all the things y'all do. And hope to meet you in the future.